Hi again. So here we are. I thought I'll shift to some 22s. And uh, as for all the things that are going on around us, um, believe it or not, everything is getting better and better. And I think we should all be optimistic and put all this uh, virus stuff behind us. But it's just my personal opinion. Um, Winchester Model 52, a while ago, I'm talking years now, I made a video and I think it was like the best 22 bolt action. And I've had nothing but good experiences with the Model 52. And this is actually um, reproduction. This one carries the Browning trademark, but they also made a uh, Winchester trademark copy of the 52. These made in Japan by Miroku. And I mean, they copied everything uh, perfectly. And I would have to say they're either as good or better than the original Winchester. And they have the fully adjustable trigger. I'll show you the bottom here. This is sort of a review, but I noticed that my old videos really don't get watched. So I thought before I get into the subject matter, I'll show you this one. And that's the magazine release there on the side. So beautiful sporter. And why am I talking about this? Because when I made that video, um, quite a few people agreed, actually. You know, everybody has their opinion, which is good. And then I did receive over the next uh, year or more some comments that the best 22 bolt action is the Moss 45. So I remember the first letter I received like that. I thought, wow, I've heard of that. Maybe I even handled one, but I don't own one. And I forgot about it, and then suddenly I had a chance to acquire one. So here it is, and um, I've taken the screws out before filming, just so it's easier to show you what's what. But this is the, the Moss 45, and it's made in France. And you've now had a look at the Model 52 um, Winchester. And I probably, I mean, this does not look like a rifle that would be better than the Winchester, does it? It's worn, it's old, the bore is excellent, and I find myself taking this rifle out and shooting it all the time. It has this excellent aperture sight, and you kind of don't have to think when you're shooting with an aperture sight, some of you might know that. It has a proper action, and evidently it's a copy of the Mauser, a Mauser 22. And there's some interesting history attached with to this uh, Moss, that's M-A-S, Model 45. And um, it's worth reading up on. I don't want to bore you with all these details about occupied France and Mauser and then so on and so forth. Um, mainly, I think the action is very interesting. So we take it apart and I'm always surprised this doesn't look like much. This is a beautifully machined, heavy part. Like this is not a lightweight 22. This is what you need to remove to take the rifle apart. And then inside, again, this one is not in great shape, but it shoots like a house on fire. It's fantastic. There you have a proper action. Everything's open, accessible. That's the, the machining on on this action, I mean, my goodness, uh, I don't know what it would cost to make this these days. Bolt release here, you can see it's quite similar to a Mauser. So we just lift up, that comes out. Um, the locking is accomplished partly by the bolt handle and partly here. It has the flag safety. It has a typical, uh, let's say, Mauser style trigger mechanism very simple people actually say the triggers aren't good on these I, I'm never sure what good means but um, I have no problem with this uh, I have as as good accuracy with this aperture sight as any 22 and they made the barrel kind of medium heavy you can see there's a good front sight it's missing the hood um, there's a push button here so you can change the leaf of the front sight if you want to. Very good. And uh, this is an interesting thing. They milled into the barrel and this is what retains the, the stock. This piece slides back and forth and then goes through. 
that hole so the barrel's not free floating uh, but again there's all this controversy or maybe no controversy everybody seems to love free floating barrels and I don't notice much difference my drillings which have nothing free floating about them shoot incredibly accurately but I'm sure for target rifles free floating is better um, what else can I show you about it the stock itself this looks like some kind of beach and you can see the that's the butt plate now this particular rifle obviously has seen a lot of use um, I suspect a lot of carrying maybe range use but it hasn't affected the bore at all and I think generally speaking military guns that are used for training may have a lot of rounds through them but the bores are cleaned and properly maintained um, I was lucky with this one and the numbers match uh, but I wanted to speak to that for a minute because some of you write me about collecting and what do collectors look for and I hear a lot of things about um, collectors and what we require matching is fine not matching is fine um, it sometimes it's just the age of a particular firearm that makes it desirable sometimes I buy them and they don't even work uh, just because the examples are so scarce anyway this is um, a remarkable 22 and if you come across one even if it looks as bad as this one uh, it, they're definitely worth buying and the stock design is excellent uh, yeah totally totally fine 22 so we'll set that one down and then I took this one out because it's a German sporter I may have reviewed this one on Patreon, even had a little secret message in, under the butt plate, which just turned out to be propaganda, but um, not worth repeating. Uh, I didn't get the claw mounted scope, but I do have a small scope, I just didn't get around to getting it on there. This is uh, BSW, made in Zool, and it has different interesting markings on it. The caliber is noted as 5.6 by... 35 RWS um, pretty sure that's a 35 and then uh, just a regular butt plate I'm going into these details because I receive letters asking for this detail and that detail which you know they're good things to ask for and I always regret that I didn't show you more on the original video but that's this beautiful action and quite scarce with the double set trigger and of course it's a single shot um, so I have the Mauser that apparently the Moss 45 is a copy of and I'll show that to you on another occasion but I thought I better show you another 22 instead and that's this one just because I received a lot of letters and kind of I forget to answer them so people were asking to see because some people thought this is a Jeb, Jeb arm, or Give arm, I, I've always pronounced it Jeb arm, made in France. So is the Moss, of course, that's a French firearm. It says made in France on the bottom of the barrel, but won't be able to see it. This is a open bolt uh, mechanism, so to fire the gun, if we focus on the, on the bolt here, you'll see when I pull the trigger, the bolt will fly forward. So that's what fires the gun. And um, since there's no firing pin, it's very simple. The firing pin is just a, um, a notch on the front of the bolt face that slams into the cartridge. Some have two, and this one has just one. And the main controversy was about the 22 short. So I had mentioned I have a 22 short. And a lot of people said that, that, that doesn't exist. It was only long rifle and I received a couple of letters with really excellent um, explanations why it couldn't be made in 22 short and I didn't say much because uh, I thought well it's probably all correct except I have a 22 short in my 22 volt so I thought this overdue um, exceptional condition beautiful step barrel fantastic front sight um, actually the machining and everything on this as good is as good as you could expect on any rifle. I don't know when this was made. Somebody told me in the 50s. Could have been earlier or a little later. Um, threaded for, I guess, a suppressor. 
and the trigger is fine and it, it's kind of neat it has a uh, you'll see the butt plate is it's there while well, there is no butt plate it's just straight wood and then the, the markings on the butt stock you can see are quite specific I I haven't studied you know what they all mean but I'm sure that there are people that that know all these things and as you'd expect with a 22 short it's um, very quiet never jams and the scope is excellent I actually put that scope on myself uh, just to see oh I'm that, because I'm missing the rear sight that that was it and the scope was sliding all over the place no matter how I tightened it down on this dovetail that happens sometimes with 22s for who knows what reason and uh, so I just put some epoxy on there and now it doesn't move and it came with five of these 22 short mags so I mean as far as shootability goes if you can get any 22 semi-auto that works with the short that's a real bonus it's it's terrifically convenient and I've always liked the short by the way you just undo this screw and the rifle of course is a takedown um, just beautifully made very hard to find so hard people thought it doesn't exist I have the long rifle and th this is I prefer it far more than the 22 long rifle so that's the Jeb Arms. Some people are going to ask me what model number is this, and it just says Carabine Automatique 22 short caliber um, Jeb Arm. There's no model designation that I can see on here. Maybe you know. Um, taking it apart is easy. Actually, everything about it is easy because it's so simple. So those are two 22s that we um, um, kind of have in the collection and will keep in the collection. I've had them for a long time and I recommend getting either one of them or both of them and people always ask me which one do you like better. Uh, I think this Moss is just amazing. I wish this was in better condition but I wouldn't even know where to find one let alone one in better condition so probably if I come across another I'll just buy it if it's not, you know not crazy price. So that that's it for for uh, this session so those of you that corrected me and said you're forgetting about the the Moss 45 um, well I wasn't forgetting about it because I really didn't know about it but now I do thank you very much for watching and uh, join us on Patreon and Instagram and um, let's look forward to better times and we'll see you on the next video take care